Hi, everyone. Welcome to another English with Lena lesson. Today, we're looking at these small, maybe sometimes confusing, but very important words. These are prepositions. We use them when talking about time and place. By the end of this lesson, I think you'll have a better idea of when to use in, on, and at. Lina, mến chào quý vị và các bạn. Hôm nay mình sẽ học ba cái từ này um, nhỏ nhưng mà rất là quan trọng. It can be confusing. Uh, vì Lina hay nghe người uh, không phải là người Việt thôi nhưng mà uh, không phải người Mỹ đó, không phải người bản xứ đó. À, họ hay dùng không có đúng, họ dùng sai. À, like uh, in the night, nhưng họ nói là on the night. Okay. So I'm going to teach you how we use these words when talking about time and place. Are you ready? Here we go. The easiest way for me to show you how to use these words is with an upside down triangle in at the top on in the middle and at at the bottom this is what you're going to use to try and figure out when to use which word at the top you will see It's the widest part. It covers a lot. It's in general, in general. Okay, so it's generalized. In the middle, it's a little more specific. Okay, so on is a little more specific, like on a certain day, on Friday. Okay, um, at the very bottom, It's more specific. Okay. So it's uh, it's more specific. At 5 p.m. Là đúng ngày giờ, đúng 5 giờ. Okay. So general, more specific, and very specific. That's how we use these words. So let's take a look at the word in. When we're using the word in, To talk about time, we're talking about long periods of time, like decades, in the 80s, or years, in 2022, months, in December, weeks, in two weeks. You could also talk about seasons. In winter or in the winter and periods of time in the future okay or parts of the day so not very specific in the morning now when we use the word in to talk about places again it's in general We can talk about countries in America or cities in Dallas, neighborhoods in Chinatown, or enclosed spaces like in the house. So those are general areas, places, okay? Now let's take a look at the middle section. When do you use the word on? So remember, this is a little more specific. Okay, on is a little more specific. When talking about time, on the weekend, okay? on the weekend. So a little more specific. Or when you're talking about days, on Friday, okay, on Friday. You also use on when you're talking about certain dates, on 
December 13th. Or specific days, like on my birthday. By the way, my birthday is December 13th. You also use it when you're using a day and then a part of the day, like on Sunday morning. On Sunday morning. And you use it with a holiday if you use the word day after it. On Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. When we talk about places, on is used when you're talking about a surface. And normally, it's a flat surface. Okay? On the table. On the table. Okay? Um, when you're talking about streets. On Main Street. On First Avenue. Okay? You're talking about on that street. We also use the word on when we talk about Mass transportation. Okay, we say on the train, on the bus, on the airplane. And also when we talk about communications, like on the radio, on the phone, on TV. Back to the triangle. Way at the bottom is this most specific, the smallest point and that's when we use the word at. It's much more specific. When talking about time, you use at when you're talking about the hours. At 8 a.m., at 8 p.m. Or parts of the day. At sunrise. At midnight. At dawn. When we're talking about a time, okay, at the moment, at present, and you use it with holidays when you don't use the actual word day after it. At Christmas, at Easter, okay, because it's a time frame. Now, if you're talking about the specific day, it was on Christmas Day. Remember? Okay? And when talking about places, we use at when we're talking about addresses. At 123 South Spring Street. Or specific locations like at school, at home and at work. Now let's take a look at each word. In, we normally use for enclosed spaces, okay? In something, in something, enclosed spaces. You know, something that has walls maybe, okay? Enclosed spaces. And those spaces don't have to be big. They can be small, like in a cup. Is there coffee in your cup? In a bowl. Are there more noodles in your bowl? In the closet. Okay, because you can close it, right? So it's enclosed. In the closet. Hang it up in the closet. In a car. In a car. Okay, remember. You can open and close the door You're inside, in the car. Now to the word on. On normally means on usually a flat surface, so on the surface, okay? For instance, on a table or on the table. There's an apple on the table, on the shelf. There are books on the shelf. Okay, remember, on a surface. On the wall. 
on the wall, also a flat surface. Okay? No one said it had to be horizontal. It could be vertical on the wall. Pictures on the wall. On the stove. Hmm. On the stove. Okay? Now let's take a look at at. Okay. At is more specific. A location. At that location. Okay? At the location. I'm at school or I'm at work. Okay? It's specific. Or I'm at 422 Main Street. Okay? A specific address. I'm at home. I'm at home. I'm at the party. Oh, I'm at the party. Specific location. I'm at the door. Ah, hello, open up. I'm at the door. At the door. So to recap, in is for enclosed spaces. On is on flat surfaces. And at is when we're talking about a location. It's a lot of information, I know. Okay, let's see if you understand the concept. Let's take a short quiz. I want you to answer. As soon as I read the question, I want you to think about it and then answer. Maybe you don't have to think hard at all. Are you ready? Let's take the quiz. Is there coffee your cup? Is there coffee your cup? Is there coffee in your cup? Remember, in the cup. I left it the counter. I left it on the counter. On a surface. I left it on the counter. There's food left my plate. There's food left. My plate. There's food left on my plate. There's food left on my plate. Again, a surface. Now, if it was a bowl, then it would be in, right? Flatter surface, plate. Kind of tricky, huh? I was work when he called. I was blank work when he called. I was at work when he called. Okay, at a location. I was at work when he called. There's a fly, the wall. There's a fly blank on the whoop. Oh. I gave you the answer. There's a fly on the wall. There's a fly on the wall. Again, it's on a surface. I bet you already knew that one. Would you like cream blank your coffee? Would you like cream your coffee? Would you like cream in your coffee? Would you like cream in in your coffee. So remember the triangle. In, on, at. General, more specific, very specific. Let's take a quiz and see if you get it. Please arrive blank 7 p.m. Please arrive at 7 p.m. Okay, specific time, very specific. Would you like to ride blank my car? Would you like to ride blank my car? Would you like to ride in my car? Would you like to ride in my car? Unless you really mean on the car. That's not safe, don't do that. 
Okay, would you like to ride in my car? Because if you said on, it literally means on it, like on top of it, okay? Are you busy blank Friday night? Are you busy on Friday night? Are you busy on Friday night? The bar is much busier blank night. The bar is much busier at night. Much busier at night. When you start to speak more English, you will know what sounds right because your brain actually is very good at coming up and figuring out patterns. Okay. So some people know which word to use, but they don't know how they know or why. Okay. So if you keep practicing, your brain will automatically do it. I like to jog blank the morning. I like to jog blank the morning. I like to jog in the morning. I like to jog in the morning. However, when you're talking about night, you would say, I like to jog at night. In the morning, but at night. And there's no real good explanation. But when you learn English, you should learn phrases. Okay? At night. In the morning. It makes it much easier than learning one word at a time. Okay? At night is just something we naturally, and everyone knows to say it that way. Next question. I'll visit again blank Christmas. I'll visit again blank Christmas. I'll visit again at Christmas. I'll visit again at Christmas. Now, if it was Christmas Day, December 25th, then you would say on Christmas Day. Okay, on Christmas Day. And here we are, blank, the end of the lesson. Here we are at the end of the lesson. At the end. That's another phrase. When you learn it, you should learn it together as a phrase. At the end. Sometimes you will hear, in the beginning, okay, like when someone tells a story, in the beginning, at the end, in the morning, at night. Nhiều lúc nó không có có cái, cái rule gì hết, hoặc là nó, nó đi nó ngược cái, 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 cái rule. So you should learn it together. Very helpful. When you learn something, try to learn it together. And here we are at the end of the lesson. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. So you remember, go to the beginning, take the test again, and see if it comes naturally to you. Just remember the triangle. Okay? General, more specific, and very specific. I hope that helps you. And we'll see you again next time on another English with Lena lesson.